it's math buddies let's get back to school and no more with this math slate today you will understand few more smart phrases or everyday spoken words versus smart phrases very first phrase is beats me so it is used against everyday common speaking or you can see everyday use words like do not understand in general if you say do not understand then stop using it and start saying beats me looking at the usage in a sentence it beats me how he qualified the test so i'm not able to understand how he qualified the test or it beats me how he got the job or it beats me uh why does he stay here i do not understand his behavior it beats me instead of saying do not understand you can use beats me second one is exactly what one needed we usually say in our day to day life exactly what i needed or exactly what one needed but instead of it you can say hit the spot it's raining pitch folks and this lemon and coriander soup has hit the spot or it was raining pitch folks and this cup of tea has hit the spot or it is the right time it was exactly what i was needing right now and you just got it for me so hit the spot means exactly what one needed third one is keep quiet we often say keep quiet in general instead of it you can say bite your tongue bite your tongue means to keep your mouth shut for a while or to stay quiet for a while it will be better if you bite your tongue for a while it will be better if you keep quiet so instead of saying keep quiet bite your tongue for a while fourth one is careful careful is again a common word but instead of it you can say play safe trekking is an adventurous sport but play safe be careful while you are trekking lot of money lot of money is the fifth one we usually say i have lot of money or he has lot of money he is a rich person but instead of it you can use a smart phrase that is loaded to be loaded with looking at your lifestyle it seems you are loaded you are loaded means you look quite rich you have a lot of money seems familiar so seems familiar means rings a bell it often happens that when you look at someone it just strikes that you have looked at somewhere or you know that person so for that particular situation instead of saying seems familiar you can say rings a bell this place rings a bell to the pink city so when you visit a place and it, it seems like you you have uh, visited the place before or you are familiar with the place you can say it just rings a bell to the place you know well like it just looks familiar to the pink city think about it think about it is the most common thing we say in our day to day life like think about it think about that but instead of it you can use a smart phrase like sleep on it it is too early to file the divorce take your time and sleep on it take your time and think about the decision leave alone leave alone means buzz off guys please buzz off now or she buzz off from there she left alone for uh, she just left us all there please buzz off no reaction or not turn a hair no reaction in general when you say oh uh, she didn't give her any reaction or it was a no reaction party or a prank instead of it you can say not turn a hair so this prank didn't turn a hair of hers or you can say for sammy file it is can't even turn a hair sammy is unaffected even though you just file have a pile of a uh, file it is in front of him he is unaffected he won't give you any reaction because he knows somewhere that the company needs him and this file it is just to warn him to work better to come to come so instead of it you can see to make it 
Alice will not be able to make it to the party tonight. So she will not be able to come to the party tonight. Disagree. Disagree. Instead of saying I disagree with you or we are in disagreement. You can say not in my books. Not in my books means you do not agree with someone. You do not share the same page. You can say these political decisions are not in my books. So whatever your decisions you people are taking in a political sense are not in my books. I disagree with your political decisions or political way of making decisions. I would like to be straightforward and honest with my decisions. So you can see, instead of disagree, not in my books. Sad, feeling sad, you can see, feel blue. Instead of saying sad, I feel blue about her certain demise or I felt blue uh, about the accident or the current pandemic situation uh, makes everyone feel blue or makes everyone sad. So instead of saying sad, you can use the phrase feel blue. Thirteenth one is laugh. Laugh is common word quite in general term but instead of it you can use crack up. Crack up is a phrase which is uh, usually uh, used uh, in a uh, funny way or comical way you can say. It is not the right time to crack up or to laugh right now. Difficult situation or a brain teaser. So a difficult situation can be phrased as a brain teaser it is a good phrase for it coming out of the financial crisis has become a brain teaser now it has really become difficult to come out of these financial crisis or you can say max uh, studying max is a brain teaser or this particular game is a brain teaser for me it is quite difficult for me i'm not able to do it don't know don't know instead of saying this word uh, or these words you can say no clue no clue is a smart phrase for saying don't know i don't have any clue about it they had no clue about his fashion show that means they were not knowing about his fashion show or they don't know about his fashion show and this time means to get it right or in general you can say to get it. To get it means to understand. Though he passed the instructions fastly, Elena got it right. Or I hope you got it. I hope you got it when you see in the inverted commas. It means I hope you understood it. So you can use it in both the ways like get it or get it right. To be off means Goodbye. Goodbye is a general word which we use often, but you can say be off. It's a business call. It's time to be off. So it's a business call and I need to leave. It's time to say goodbye. Eighteenth one is believe it. To believe it means to buy it. So I don't buy uh, your views or my mom never buy my thoughts or my excuses or you can say my ideas so my mom never believes and my mom never believes in me or about my thoughts or my ideas or my plans so you can see i don't buy these excuses i don't believe in these excuses i'll pay the bill so it is again in general used uh, you can say sentence or these are words I'll pay the bill you know instead of saying again and again repetitively like I'll pay the bill I'll pay the bill you can use a phrase it's on me it's on me it's a smart phrase to say that uh, I'll pay the bill enjoy the drinks today it's on me today I'll pay the bill so you all enjoy at the last minute down to the Y. At the last minute, so for it, you can use the phrase 
down to the y. The choreography was done to the y till we reached backstage. So till the time we reached backstage, we were not, uh, uh, we were, we didn't had any uh, completely practiced uh, dance steps or choreo dance choreography. It was everything done till the last moment. Till the time we reached backstage, we were not uh, uh, well planned or well organized about our choreography. And it was done at the last minute when something is decided at the last minute or is uh, the decision is left till the last minute you use the phrase down the wire so at the last minute everything was just decided and then we executed the choreography in the stage feel nervous feel nervous is again common commonly used term so you can say get cold feet Maria could not breathe underwater as she got cold feet from scuba diving. Because of scuba diving, she just got cold feet or she felt nervous underwater and she was not able to breathe well. Doubtful, so you can use a phrase called have second thoughts. Whenever you have second thought about something, that means you are doubtful about it or you need to think about it again or you will... Uh, you might change your decision you might not able you are not able to draw any conclusion out of it so you are having second thought it is usually used in negative sense you can see bella has second thoughts about the job proposal because there may be some issue with it or any uh, negative point attached to it so she is in doubt whether she uh, she is able to join or not or she'll be able to join the job or not to worry about is the next word, uh, to worry about is our next commonly used term. See, instead of it, you can see, give second thought. Give second thought means you give your best in the exams. Now, don't give a second thought to it. So, your give second thought is used in a negative sense. Like, you have just finished it. Now, don't use it in a now don't just think about it again and again and get worry about it have second thought is used in a positive sense here because bella has second thoughts about the job proposal but she is still doubtful whereas give second thought here is used in a negative sense because you gave your best in the exams now don't give a second thought to it because now you don't need to worry about it and don't uh, at all get uh, annoyed with it whatever has happened in the exams everything is well when you see it in such a way it becomes a negative sense like you're worrying about something but whereas in the doubtful way you are not cocksure about something so have second thought and give second thought are two different phrases not in my opinion means not in my book you can use it uh, very smartly whenever you are not in agreement with someone's opinion. You can say, it's not in my book. You getting married is not in my box. So, you getting married is not in my opinion. I don't think you'll get married. Last one is to wake up. To wake up means rise and shine. You sleepy head. Come on, rise and shine. It's already 10 a.m. Like, come on, get up, rise and shine. Rise and shine means when you're quite lively and energetic, when you get up early in the morning, you feel quite lively and energetic at that particular moment of time. It means rise and shine. So guys, rise and shine, get up, get going, study hard, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you and stay subscribed.